Hold up. Yo, what is going on guys? I'm Flipartor Kurt and welcome back to a brand new video. Another big update has been blessed upon us here on Infinite Warfare with the latest patch update coming out as of March 28th, 2017. The new DLC weapons have been added to Infinite Warfare, the Exion Assault Rifle and the VPR SMG. And I believe it was only last month we had DLC weapon updates where we had the RVN Assault Rifle and the UDM handgun as our new DLC weapons and with that update if you were a seasons pass holder like myself you would be able to get the base weapon of the RVN assault rifle for absolutely free but unfortunately we couldn't get the UDM handgun for free as well however there was an upside to it all where you could complete very easy challenges for these two weapons if you didn't have the seasons pass and unlock the base weapons for yourself well this time around with our latest DLC weapons in this latest update if you guys have a seasons pass instead of only getting one DLC weapon free, you will now be able to get both the Exion Assault Rifle and the VPR SMG for absolutely free. And that, my friends, is the right way to be giving away DLC weapons on any Call of Duty. Now, of course, for those of you that don't have a Seasons Pass, don't worry at all. You, too, will be able to get these weapons for free. No COD points, no salvage, no keys. Nothing that you really need to spend too much except for a little bit of your time. But of course, by now, a lot of you guys already know how to unlock these weapons or already have them unlocked. And it's very straightforward to do if you guys go and check it out for yourselves. You guys can just go to the weapon select screen and check it out for yourselves there. But any information that I tell you guys in this video is information that's already public. And I'm sure a lot of other people and YouTubers are already covering this on their channels. But for those of you who may have taken a break from IW for a while, didn't get to know that there were new weapons coming into the game, or for anyone who really hasn't been checking anything about these weapons that were released on Infinite Warfare or anything about Infinite Warfare at all, you've come to the right place. So simply enough, all you gotta do is load up your game and after you've loaded it up, you can head over to the create a class menu, pick a class slot and go to your primary weapons and then we're gonna scroll down to the bottom here of your assault rifles and right after the RVN, which is one of three DLC weapons that were added to the game before this update, you'll see the Exion Assault Rifle. Now, if you're like me, you already have a Seasons Pack you will already have this weapon readily available to play with but for those of you that don't have a season pass your Exion will be locked and you'll have to work for it and it's not too hard to do now this is the Exion assault rifle the second assault rifle DLC weapon added to infinite warfare a full auto energy rifle unlike our RVN that was a two round burst energy rifle that comes with an advanced recoil compensator that provides focused hip fire kind of like already having a laser sight attachment on your weapon but better and when you guys aim down sights with this weapon, the fire rate will increase and the integrated optics will provide enhanced detection capabilities, which is kind of something similar to the Trojan optics. So pretty much this weapon comes with two free attachments plus an aim down sight fire rate increase, which is pretty insane. Now for the Exion Assault Rifle, this gun is unlocked via a challenge, supply drops, or the season's pass. And the requirements for this challenge to be completed to unlock for this gun is to complete 15 matches where you got kills with six different weapons which basically means you can play any game type that you guys want to but when you find a weapon on the ground whether it's your teammates or an enemy's weapon you should pick it up and get at least one kill with it and repeat this six times in that match but try to remember what weapons you're using because the kills won't count if you keep picking up the same weapon over and over and over and the best way to complete this challenge is to play gun game essentially 15 times and it doesn't matter if you win or lose any kind of match as long as you get over six weapon kills and it's completely Completed, it'll count as one point out of the 15 you need to complete this challenge and so with that we can now scroll over to the SMGs or the submachine guns and then scroll to the bottom just under the HVR will be our very first SMG DLC weapon that's been added here into Infinite Warfare and the fifth DLC weapon added overall the VPR and this VPR is a full auto ballistic weapon which has dual barrels and dual magazines which provide increased bullets down range and faster reloads making this weapon seem pretty overpowered for the most part. Now, just like our Exion Assault Rifle, this VPR SMG is unlocked via challenge, supply drops, or a season's pass. And the requirements for this challenge to be completed to unlock this gun is to win 12 matches where you get at least one kill with the Exion Assault Rifle. Now, this can be quite confusing for some people, especially if you're thinking, how am I supposed to unlock the VPR if I don't even have the Exion Assault Rifle unlocked? 
Well, there's two ways you can tackle this. The first way, which is essentially the easiest way to unlock the VPR, is to unlock the Exion Assault Rifle first, where personally it's actually pretty easy and quick to unlock if you guys do it the right way. The second way to do it, if you're very inclined for whatever reason on not unlocking the Exion Assault Rifle, which you will somehow do along the way as you guys continue to play multiplayer for whatever reason though, is to just pick it up in your lobby and kill at least one player with it once among the 12 matches you play. Regardless if you win or lose that match, just don't back out of that lobby of course because then it won't count towards actually unlocking this weapon and the best time to actually unlock the VPR would be now if you're going to be doing it this way more than ever because since these weapons are brand new everyone will be attempting to unlock the VPR and the Exion and they're going to be trying to get black sky camo or just do challenges for it and everything so this means you'll have plenty of chances to pick it up in some sort of Exion fashion whether it's going to be a weapon variant or the base weapon or whatever it is in your lobby in your match and at least get one kill with it and of course there is a third way which is more or less the unpopular way to attempt to unlock these weapons without trying to put in any real work here on infinite warfare is to go and open up supply drops at the quartermaster which of course by doing that and getting super lucky enough to unlock an exion or vpr weapon variant it would mean that this would automatically unlock the base variant for that weapon that you unlocked in particular but i mean really let's face it if you have the weapon variant you're never really going to touch the base weapon variant anyway so with that said, how are you guys going to go and unlock the Exion or the VPR here on Infinite Warfare? Let me know what you guys are going to do down in the comments below. I, fortunately enough, already have them unlocked because I am a Seasons Pass holder. However, I will be going on to an account that doesn't have a Seasons Pass and unlocking it for a lucky person. So stay tuned for those videos of me unlocking both the Exion Assault Rifle and the VPR SMG. And it's going to be pretty intense. And I'm also going to try to show you guys the fastest way to hopefully unlock some of these weapons if this thing didn't help you out at all. All. But that's gonna be about it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it And if you guys did remember to drop a like and if you guys haven't already consider subscribing because if you don't You're gonna be missing out on awesome videos like this. Thank you guys again for watching and I will catch you guys next time So later days and peace out